Hi Doc, thanks for seeing me today. I came in because I get so dizzy sometimes and I just don't know what's wrong with me. Oh, there are so many causes for dizziness. Um, dizziness could be due to inner ear disorders, could be due to uh, metabolic disorders, to brain issues. So we need a little bit more information from you so we could narrow down the different causes of dizziness. So you're telling me there's a lot of different types of dizziness and vertigo. I think mine is mostly when I try to get out of bed or lean over to tie my shoes. I just feel so dizzy. Uh, that sounds uh, more like an inner ear type of vertigo, which is the most common type of vertigo we encounter. It's called benign positional vertigo. And that's due to crystals in the inner ear fluid that detach themselves from the center where they actually live and belong and become floaters. So when you change position like that, you feel the dizziness the vertigo. So how do you treat benign positional vertigo? That's pretty easy to treat. The first is to confirm the diagnosis. So we're going to test you, we're going to put you in certain positions to try to reproduce these symptoms. If we do find that that is truly benign positional vertigo and we could identify which ear is the causative ear, uh, then there's a maneuver that we do called the Epley maneuver. Um, it takes about three minutes and it repositions those floating crystals in the part of the ear where they belong and it eliminates the vertigo. So if we determine I have benign positional vertigo and I, I have this Epley treatment, will I be cured? You will be cured for a while. Uh, what caused these crystals to come off base in the beginning could still cause them to go off base again. So there's a chance of recurrence even after you are cured. So uh, once you're cured, you're done, you don't need to do anything else. But if the symptoms recur, you know that is a recurrence of the same and you return for another treatment. Okay, so I know I can get treated for benign positional vertigo with the Epley maneuver if it occurs again. Is there a chance that I could be more susceptible to other types of dizziness and vertigo because I've had this? Not necessarily. As I said, benign positional vertigo is the most common type of vertigo and it could happen to anybody at any time. It's definitely more frequent with age. It's more frequent in patients who have had head trauma, accidents, um, and patients who have had inner ear disorders. It does not necessarily uh, proceed into other inner ear disorders. Great, thank you so much. You've relieved a lot of my concerns today, Dr. Wazik.